What's up, Madden 15 Gamers? Welcome to today's Rookie Spotlight, guys. And uh, real quick, before we get into our Rookie Spotlight today, I want to remind you all that I am trying to build up my Facebook page. Uh, if you guys check it out in the description, facebook.com slash MaddenTips365. If you guys go over there and like it, as soon as I get to 100 likes, I'm going to be giving away my ultimate uh, legend, Barry Sanders, 99 overall card for Madden Ultimate Team. You guys can check that out. Uh, but all that's in the description. You can check that out. But, guys, this week we are talking all about Justin Gilbert, the cornerback out of Oklahoma State. And, guys, I look at his stats. I look at his uh, some some tape that I just got done watching, looked at some, some different previews and different things like that. And I keep coming back to the same conclusion. The definition of playmaker is Justin Gilbert. This guy is shredded from head to toe. Uh, in 2013, he had uh, 40 tackles, six interceptions. Obviously, you know those numbers don't really scream a whole lot to you when you look at. But when you look at like the actual tape of Justin Gilbert, and you look at uh, kind of the uh, combine stats and things like that. You just see, I mean, this dude is literally the playmaker that I I had no clue. I, I, I literally had no clue until I sat down and looked at this, how big of a playmaker this guy is and why this might have been one of the biggest steals of the draft. I mean, we take a look at his 40-yard dash time. He runs a 4-3-40. Uh, he has 33-and-a-half-inch arms. Um, his hands are like eight and a half inches long or, or big. He has 35-and-a-half inch vertical jump he's already uh he's already uh like six one or six foot i mean the dude is just a beast and he's a big dude but he can run man four three forty is nothing to joke about and this guy is literally i mean he might be one of the biggest playmakers that this draft has seen in a while at the cornerback position um this is morris claiborne who actually has some beef to him i mean this guy is incredible i love the pick Got him number eight. I think this guy is going to be one of the better players out of this draft long term. Just because, I mean, if as long and the cool part is that he gets to play alongside Joe Hayden. Um, you know, a lot of people are talking about maybe putting him in the nickel corner slot. I would personally think that he would do better on the outside on an island because of how physically gifted this guy is. I mean, 202 pounds for a cornerback is really pretty dang big and he's six feet tall runs a four three four i mean the dude is just flat out athletic as crap and i cannot wait to see what cleveland's going to do with this guy on their roster i can't wait to see what they're going to do with johnny manzel and, and all the new additions that cleveland is coming i think cleveland has one of the top five secondaries in madden uh 15 and all, all, obviously in the nfl i mean look at what they've got they've got joe and they've got Dante Whitner Hitner. They've got Justin Gilbert, and I believe they're bringing back uh, that Buster Skyreen dude, who's a pretty good corner in his own right. Pretty fast corner, good for dime and nickel situations. But I mean, I'm telling you guys, this guy is going to be. I think he's going to be one of the better players in it that comes out of this draft. I mean, coming out, I think it was a great draft by the Browns or by the Browns here. Great draft by the Browns. I think they got everything that they wanted and more. Um, I just can't get over. I mean, this guy, I mean, I'm reading some stats here. It's, he talks about his outstanding speed to size ratio, his athletic ability, his skills. I mean, the dude is just literally physically dominant. The only thing that I worry about is that he is, he's a little bit soft. And what I mean by soft is he's kind of like, um, he he doesn't have that passion that drive and and that's the only thing that I I didn't see in, in what I saw here in this draft projection article I read and uh, some of the film that I've seen. I mean he, I mean but he's like that gentle giant, you know. He's like that guy that like that LeBron James type that if you ever tick this guy off, I mean this guy can do some incredible things. So depending on if he's in the right system at the right time, which I think he is at Cleveland, I think that Justin Gilbert could be one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL uh, in his prime next five years. Be on a Look out for Justin Gilbert. Also, guys, if you like this series and want to see more, hit that like button and that hit that like button and that subscribe button. We'll see you over the channel. Thanks a lot for coming out, and we'll talk to you guys next week.